Hello everyone and welcome to my Linux channel Byte of Linux. And today I'm going to be installing Fedora 25 workstation. Fedora is a distro that is very different from other ones such as Ubuntu and Arch Linux. And Fedora is a clean, polished, and fast OS, and is actually funded and sponsored by Red Hat. So I'm going to be installing Fedora Workstation in this tutorial. So to download Fedora, go to getfedora.org. So you can just enter that in, and you should see a page like this. Now click on the Workstation area, or click Download Now, and I should bring you to this page. Now there are actually two ways of creating a live USB to install Fedora. The first way is by using the Fedora Media Writer, and the second way is by using a live USB creator. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be using a live USB creator called Rufus, which you probably know about if you watched my video on installing Ubuntu. So to do this, all I need to download is the actual live image, not the media writer. So the media writer download is located here at the top with this big green download button, but I'm not going to download that. And now here are actually the recommended system requirements for installing Fedora. So you should have at least a 1 gigahertz processor, 1 gigabyte of RAM, and 10 gigabytes of hard drive space available. And of course, a USB port. So I'm going to download the 64-bit 1.3 gigabytes live image. Since my computer is 64-bit, but you can also download the 32-bit version. So I'm just going to click that and it should automatically start downloading Fedora. Now as you can see it's a very large file, it's 1.3 gigabytes and it's going to take a while to download so I'm just going to pause the video right now and resume it when it's finished downloading. The Fedora Workstation ISO has finished downloading now so I'm going to actually burn it onto a USB to install it onto a computer. To burn it I'm going to use a tool called Rufus which I've used in the past it is very reliable and efficient. So to get to the Rufus page, you can go to rufus.akeo.ie or just search it up in your search engine and scroll down to the bottom of the page until you reach a section titled download and you should just download the latest version. So I already have it downloaded and once it's downloaded, open up the folder that it's in and run the program. So I have it here, and at this point, if it's successfully loaded up, you want to insert your USB drive into your computer. So I just inserted my drive, and as you can see, all the information popped up. So I have my drive selected here. Make sure it's like 8 or 16 gigabyte USB, just to make sure everything gets successfully copied to it. And make sure you leave select. Make sure you first select your device, the proper one and then leave these three sections as default and now here you want to select the image or the Fedora workstation in this case so click on that little icon and select your image file and now it should load up some of the information and here you can title the volume whatever you want I like to call it USB drive and once everything's set just make sure you check it and everything's good. You click start and then say yes for this if it's, it gives you this warning. And then if it gives you this warning, make sure write in ISO mode is selected. And then it gives you another warning saying that all data will be erased. Just click OK if you're sure that you've backed up all the data. And finally, click start.
Now once Rufus is done, you are ready to insert the USB into the computer you're trying to put Fedora onto. And when you do that, make sure you change the BIO settings so that your USB will boot first. And you can do that on most computers by entering your BIOS key. And once you're in the BIOS, move over to the boot menu and using specific keys you can move your USB to the top and make sure it's at the top and save in the exit and you'll be ready to start installing it. If you have successfully changed your BIOS settings and booted up into Fedora, you should see a screen like this. Once you're here, select Live System User. After you've selected the user, this screen should pop up. Click Install to Hard Drive. After clicking on Install to Hard Drive, you should see the language selection. So select your language, click Continue. And now here are the different things you need to set up. So first one is localization, and in here you have keyboard and time and date. So in keyboard, you can select your keyboard type, and you can test it out in this box. Once you know that's done, you can go over to the time and date section and select your time zone. Now once you are done setting your time zone, go under system and click on installation destination. So here you want your hard drive to be selected here. Make sure it has a white check mark on it. And then if you want to allocate your whole hard drive for Fedora 25, make sure automatically configure partitioning is selected under other storage options. And if all that is done, click done. And the installer should save your settings. So if you already have an operating system installed on your computer, this will appear when you click done. So to remove the old operating system and install Fedora, click reclaim space. And now here you want to make sure your hard drive at the top is selected and click delete all. And then click reclaim space. Next, you want to select the name of your machine. So here you can set it to whatever you like. I'm going to set it to Byte Fedora. And the installer should save everything. And when that's done, you can click Begin Installation. Now, Fedora is installing in the background, but meanwhile, you can set your password and create a user. So I'm going to set my password. And make sure to have a strong password. And then once you're done setting it, click done. And now you can hop over to the user creation se selection and you can type your info. Now, keep in mind that the root password and your user password is different. So, I'm just going to keep it the same in this installation, but make if you want to, if you have multiple users on your computer, set it to a different password so that you can manage all your users separately. So now, once all that's done, you can just let Fedora keep installing in the background, and it will take a while. As you can see, it's 25% right now. And I will resume when it's done installing. Once the installer says complete at the bottom, Fedora is finished installing. So to con continue, you can just click quit and it'll close the installer. And from here, you can shut down your Fedora installation. So 
Just click this button to power off and click power off and it should shut down. If you learned something new this video or just enjoyed watching it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Linux videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.